How are you? All right. I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So it's funny that one of my trucking buddies in the, in the, in the group was talking about McLean. It's also funny that I was like right behind a truck that had the poster board of, of you guys hiring. And lo and behold, yeah. I get a I, I get a dark text from you about McLean. So what's what 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 let's start off. What 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 you guys got to offer? Well, the reason I contacted you is because you put in a short form stating that you were interested in one of the positions, a class A position. Um if you know, do you know anything about McLean Company? What we do? Uh, seeing the trucks? No, I mean, I mean, I know that you guys run uh, perishables, foods. I deliver to you guys plenty of times. You guys got a, you guys got a, uh, got a depot up in Minnesota, over there, right outside yeah, of, we uh, have several. right outside of Minneapolis. So I'm, uh. I'm very familiar uh, of what you guys, mm -hmm. uh, what you guys are. So, so we have two divisions. We have a grocery division that delivers to convenience stores, big box stores, and truck stops. Any products that go into those locations, and then we have our food service divisions that deliver to fine dining and fast food restaurants. Fine, um, fine so, dining. That's that's new. <laughs> we still got fine dining well, out they here. Deliver to restaurants. <laughs> uh, not any that I've been to lately because customer service is garbage. Period. Yeah, I, I, period. Yeah. Period. I mean, yeah. ever yeah. since ever since this COVID happened, it's just. I mean, it's just. It's awful. Yeah, it's just they just took that to you know took that and used that as an excuse for for terrible service. Just the crutch. Yep. Yep, absolutely. Um, but yeah, that's what we deliver to. Um, most of the positions are touch freight position, 100%. So you don't load your trailers, but you unload your trailers at the customer location. Um, for the Norton location, um, that is part of the grocery division. So you'll be doing the convenience stores, gas, uh, big truck stops, Walmarts, Walgreens. Um, they are going to be 100% touch freight doing the ramp and dolly for delivery method. And they are doing a four day work week there, starting out at 75000 for the first year and offering a $10,000 sign on. $10,000. Mm hmm. Uh, okay. So for the first year, it's, it's 75K. Uh, that, that should round about, about what? About, about 15 that is the average uh what's what's no, the what's, uh, or is this is this paid per week or or bi-weekly this is this is bi-weekly uh mclean company is bi-weekly across the company oh, that's, so that's that seventy five thousand is going to be uh about twenty nine hundred dollars bi-weekly there's a minimum guarantee pay of twenty five hundred every two weeks. Um, so that's but, so that's um, if you just run your four routes, you're you'll be at that um, seventy five thousand. That's twenty eight twenty nine hundred um, bi weekly. So that's but most of our drivers there are making more than that. So that's that's gross, right? That's that's not net pay, right? Twenty uh twenty eight. What you say? Gross pay. Yeah, that's the gross pay. Okay, so, so it's almost twenty nine. It's twenty eight eighty five um, every two weeks. All right, and that's gro and that's gross pay. So that will round about, yeah. say, like about maybe twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred take home, give or take. Yes. Okay. That's your minimum guarantee pay every two weeks. Okay. 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 So, excuse me. So how? So. Is that so? How is that? How is that paid out? Is that paid out by mileage percentage? Uh, it does that also. Is that salary? Is is that also including uh, uh, low or uh, unloading? 
Does that include all that, or is that additional on top of, on top of what you just mentioned? So McLean Company pays by component pay scale. Um, so we pay you for three components. So that's going to be every mile you drive, stop mm-hmm. you make, case you deliver. Okay. Each three of those components is a dollar amount that averages into that seventy-five thousand um, for the first year. When you go in for your your on-site interview with the transportation manager, they'll explain in detail, give you the dollar amount, and show you in black and white how it breaks down per load, per paycheck, however you want to see it broken down. Uh, Thank you, Carr. I appreciate you moving me over. Uh, All right. Mm -hmm. So so you're calling... You 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 call him from Texas. So are are you are you hiring throughout the whole forty eight states, or is this uh, a particular area or so? I I actually sit at our uh, corporate headquarters, and that's in Temple, Texas. But I am a recruiter for across the nation. Okay, I work all the all different states. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you say ten thousand dollars sign on bonus. Uh, that's kind of yeah. every, every time somebody, every time a company gives in that uh, in that amount, meaning that y'all uh, that y'all retention is kind of low. But how is that ten thousand? Well, that's paid with out? any company right now with driving companies. So you know, drivers are either complaining that oh your driver bonus isn't high enough, right. or it you know when it's high they're like oh something's wrong with your company. But right. period across the board, truck drivers right now we're shortage of that's no secret. Right. We don't hide that. We are competitive, so we have to have a high sign on bonus like every every other big company that's in that's a competitor to us. You know, okay. Okay. Um, so yeah, if you look at U.S. Food or Martin Brow or any of those companies right now, they're averaging about ten to twenty thousand dollars sign on. So we're not even the highest out there right now. Okay. We just have to stay competitive. How? how because actually, our sign on bonus is only five thousand dollars. So how is that ten thousand paid out though? Uh, in three increments. Um, So the first is at one month, second is at four months, third is at seven months, and it's a $4,000, $4,000, Okay, okay, okay. So a person... We used to do it in two increments, and then it was only, it was gaps so far apart that just really didn't work with the driver. So it used to be at like um, 90 days and then at nine months, and that wasn't a great deal. So we changed it to this structure. Okay, so the the first month i'm pretty much uh f- for the first month i'm definitely going to get two thousand dollars for the first month right as part of your sign-on bonus yes so it's four thousand oh it's four i'm sorry i'm sorry four thousand so it's four thousand for the first yeah. month. yeah mm-hmm. uh-huh. after your 30 days is complete okay so there's no there's let me ask you this there there's no uh there's nothing that I need to do in order to get that I mean it's just 4000 straight out the gate I don't have to do no I don't have to jump over no hoops or anything like that 4000 out your of the job. gate Well yeah of course the job has to, to be job. done well yeah the job has to be done but you know like some companies like you got to do like like maintain 2500 miles or or this, that, and the third. Yeah. You have to come to work on time, run your four routes a week, and, you know, be a safe driver employee. Okay, okay. Now, you did mention something about uh, four four days a week. So. Yes, it's four four days a week. So, four days a week. Uh. What, am I off on the weekend, or is this, like, off on on alternative days per se no so you'll have um some some centers do it different um but i believe norton you're for norton yes um norton is going to be four days on you'll have um either a saturday or sunday off and two consecutive days off during the week 
Um, some some of them are running four days straight and having three days off straight. Mm-hmm. Um, it just depends on what customer you're servicing. Um, you know, as far as um, there, the reason it's four loads a week is because it's long routes. That's why you're teamed up with another senior McLean driver. Um, so that routes are anywhere from 16 to 18 hour routes. You dispatch out about 3 or 4 p.m., run your routes throughout the night, and you go home the next morning. Okay. So when you're and it, with those and all, all of this is in a all of this is in the sleeper truck? They have sleeper and day cab. Um, so I'm sure if you're going on an 18, you know, if you get tired or you want to rest, they probably have sleepers. I don't know how they divide up their, their cabs, but they do have both. Okay. Okay. And they have both automatic and trans uh, manual. Okay. Okay. Now you did mention something about uh, teaming. So do I have to team, or can I? Yeah, can I go solo? To, this has to be a team. Now it has to be a team because it's such a long route. Okay. Do you, Do you have any solos for people that's not interested in teams? The only solos that we're going to have are going to be um, shuttle driver positions or yard driver positions. Mm-hmm. Um, and I can do a quick search to see if they have any of those open in Norton. Oh, no, you, uh, you, you don't have to do you, you, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Um, all right. Well, so, are you interested in a solo position? Well, no, I'm just I'm, I'm just talking general right now. So. You know, I'm I'm okay. just I'm I'm just talking general right now. Uh what about uh what about orientation? So when when let's say, you know, I fill out the application, which is online, and I get approved and all that good stuff, then I come in for orientation. Where would I be coming in for orientation and how would you get me there? You would drive yourself to the DC there in Norton. Okay. So it'll be, no- and that's once they get you interviewed, they give you your onboarding. You go and start your orientation, um, which is you know part of training. You start your training after you do your orientation. Orientation is basically paperwork, videos, and things like that. Um, training, you start doing training in the yard. You do some in the warehouse to see how your trucks are loaded because everything is loaded in um, order for every stop that you come to. It's you know, ready to go, um, backing in the yard and how we, you know, run our yard and our facility. And then you're out starting your routes, um, learning the customer routes and the customers, um, with the, your team driver or uh, a senior, uh, trainer driver. Okay. What about, uh, what, what about, pre- uh, ugh. what about pre-employment, uh, screening for the drug screening? Is it urine, hair follicles or both? Are you are you having an issue with drug screening? No, I me I don't have an issue with drug screening, but I'm just curious about what drug no, screening. I'm just, <laughs> well, I I, I I I'm I keep it real with my drivers. Yeah, so I appreciate I that. Let you know. Yeah. Um. So depending on the facility, they're going to either do. Um. Some of them are doing them on site, and they'll do mouth swabs. But if they send you out to a clinic, they're going to do a urinalysis. Um, federal, um, guidelines have stated that, you know, uh, I don't believe they're doing, um, marijuana is what they're not supposed to be doing as far as testing, but they test for all the other drugs. So if you can't, huh? if you smoke whoa, weed, whoa, 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 you know, whoa, 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 whoa. I know I read somewhere that they was thinking about doing that. They actually not testing for marijuana right now no not no not for let's see what states are there i have to pull up the state but even if they even if they are testing for it i mean you have a commercial dot is going to test you for it not the company you know what i'm saying okay okay Wow, I I didn't realize. So you still have to be clean for DOT purposes, right? Right. I just try to, you know, educate my drivers. I don't care if you do or not. That's your business. As long as you come to work and you can work safely and get the job done. 
Now I just put I just put that out for my drivers because my my dad was a truck driver and he smoked every day. That didn't affect his work. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. therefore, this is how I communicate with my drivers, and I, I feel like I know the drivers. I can talk to you a little bit open more openly about that. I'm okay, I appreciate that. Issue, that's what it's on the table. Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. So, that's like I up. said, um, some of the centers, they can do it there on site if they have the staff and um, the free hands to do it on site. Mouth swab you and, and, you know, you're good to go. If you go to the clinic, it's a little bit more in depth. Okay. All right. So, as far as now, as far as the, you, you mentioned training and everything. Uh, of course, I got six years, so I, I don't have a problem coming in, but. Uh, do you guys accept uh, guys out of uh, out of, straight out of school, or what's 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 the minimum that you guys yeah, they, take? Yeah, they do. Um, they have a truck driver training position that has no CDL required. That's where we put them through school to obtain their class A. We also okay. have a driver training component, which is for new drivers straight out of school with no driving experience, okay. or they got their class A five years ago and never went into driving. I um, mean, then we have the experienced truck driver, which is, you know, you have at least one year of driving experience or that 50,000 miles. Okay. So you guys, so for people that don't have their CDLs, you guys would, would pay for their, would pay for their, uh, would pay for their CDLs. What would be the, what would be the quality, uh, what would be the, what would be the thing that they would have to do in order to, uh, fulfill that obligation with you guys if if you guys pay for the CDLs? Um, they're required to sign a contract for the academy, which is going to state that if McLean Company pays for you, put you through school for your Class A, um, that you're going to work for um, one year with your Class A with McLean Company, um, and then you're, you know, that we're even, um, that's squashed. And, um, if you leave before or prior to one year of service with McLean company, you're required to pay that schooling cost back. All right. Which, which is about what? Five, six at the most. Um, some, uh, some locations, um, I've heard it anywhere from three to 6,000. Um, so it just depends on what location you get on at. Okay. All right. So you said I got my choice between automatics and uh manuals. What what equipments do you guys actually run? I mean, what what kind of trucks do you guys have? Um Freightliner and Volvo. All right. And what if if and when I decide to come on, I, I will have a choice between the two, the Freightliner and a Volvo, or is it or is it when I, I get assigned a truck when I get there. Uh, I can't tell you you're going to be able to pick what type of truck you um, are going to drive. You can tell them that you're, you know, more familiar or more comfortable with driving a automatic or a manual. Mm-hmm. Um, it just depends on what trailers or tractors they have available. I want, I, I want, I, prefer an automatic okay well we have freightliner automatics right now available you know uh, they're not gonna there's split seating so when the teams come in they're cleaned and re re stopped and head back on the road with another team so you don't have the same trailer um every day you come in or the same tractor so in other words we won't be able to take the trucks home no okay 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 so hiring uh hiring a person that you figure what they they have to stay within like what 50 mile radius of the uh of the uh terminal that they that they're assigned to uh they they'll go up to an hour out oh okay okay all right well that's what's up man that's what's up um thank you I, I I I appreciate the infor- uh, I appreciate the information and I definitely appreciate your candor. Uh what about uh what what about <laughs> fe- what about felons? Uh what do you, what, what's your guys policies on felons? Felons are case by case scenario. Um however, I can tell you main things that they will disqualify you for are like the hard felonies. Um of course, 
like murders and right. anything recent before um, prior to seven years. If you had one three years ago, they're going to disqualify you because that's just too soon right. um, for them to move forward with you. Um, any theft, um, any uh, like, what is it? Danger to elderly or children. Mm -hmm. um, they don't move forward with those type of felonies, but it is case by case scenario on the felonies. Like, you know, I have, you know, like I said, I'm in a, I'm in a trucking group. So you mind if I uh, share this information uh, with, with, with my social media people? Um, I mean, if that's the information you need to share, I mean, McLean company is a great company. So uh, sure, you can share your information that you've gotten like anyone else can. Awesome. Awesome. Um, one last question, and this and this is from uh one one of my guys uh in the group. Um do you guys like say for example, if uh a driver is in Canada uh per se and he's interested in coming over to McLean, would you guys would you guys pay for his travel to come over, come over the border? No, I have a driver buddy. And he's from Canada. Um, my question is, would you guys be able to like if he's interested in, you know, in McLean, would you guys be able to, you know, uh, get him over here to to, you know, to work with you guys? Would you guys be able to would you guys be able to get him across the border? As far as like supporting a visa? Um. I'm not sure. I think he has. I, I think he has his own visa. I guess. I. I. I'm just thinking more of of transportation. So, like a relocation yeah, package. Yeah. They do. Yeah. 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 McLean does um, do relocation assistance. Okay. Um, I would just need uh, to get more information for the center that he's interested in, I would have to reach out to them and get that relocation information for them as far as um, how far they go or what their um, amount is that they would pay or assist with for relocation. All right. All right. Well, thank you very much. Is this the, is, is this the phone number that, 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 that the people can call uh, that can call you yes. direct? Yes, this is my work cell and I'm in, most of the time from seven to five um, and I'm central time, but if I don't get to them, if they send me a text um, or they can uh, leave me a voicemail, I'll definitely contact them back. And they can, they can fill out the application online. Um, so if you want, I did send you an email. Um, it has a, the McLean careers link at the bottom. Awesome. If they want to look at different locations, um, now the blue links um, that I sent you are for Norton. Um, so if they want to look at a different location, just tell them to click on the McLean careers um, for drivers. I will definitely do that. I will definitely do that. Thank you very much for and reaching. And if not, you're oh. welcome. But if not, um, they can just contact me. I can do, I can pull up the direct links because um, the careers page is kind of tricky for some people, which is, I can understand because when I looked at it, I was like, okay, Kind but anyway, I can send them the direct. Yeah, I can send them a direct link to the the center that they want or the center that's closest to them. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you very much. I will definitely do that. I will, I will pass all this inf good information along, and uh, hopefully somebody take advantage of it. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you for talking with me today. I hope you have a wonderful day, and you and your family stay well. I appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye.